Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 2019. If you don't know what Farming Simulator 2019 is, it's basically a first person farming simulator game where you own a farm and well, do farm work. You will be able to of course see more during this series and video. I absolutely love this game and I would love to make a series in it and I think it would be a load of fun. But yeah, I really hope this series is going to be lots of fun and I hope you guys will love it too. Now, this won't just be a normal let's play. I'm making this a realistic let's play with the game, so things will be very realistic. There's weather, seasons, prices are set to the highest setting. We start with literally nothing but a small sum of money to start off with and more things that make it way more realistic. I also have mods installed. Here you can see the mods that I currently have installed and running with for this specific series. Some of them we might not even use, but I just saw them, thought they might be useful, and then I installed them. I won't explain to you all of them right now. I'll do that as they become relevant. But here they are. Shout out to the people who made these mods. They're awesome. And you can download all of these in-game. And you can also find them on ModHub. I'll leave a link to that website down below in the description. Now another detail is I won't just be doing normal farming. I will be doing organic farming. But let's not stay in the menu anymore. It's boring in here. Let's jump in game and I'll continue from there. So we're gonna get into career. I've already set up a map for us to play on. The map is called Mini Brun. Hopefully I'm saying that right. It is what is called Seasons Ready because normally in Farming Simulator you don't have Seasons. It is a mod that adds that called Seasons. An amazing mod, by the way. But um, this map is made to be compatible with that, so it fits perfect. It's a small map. I really like it. Think it will be cool. Um, and I've already been on the map to prepare it for us. Um, as I said earlier, we are starting with absolutely nothing, only a small sum of money. And what I have done is I have already bought the farmhouse and one field. And that leaves us right there at the top, as you can see, with 379,000 euros. And we still need to buy equipment and a tractor and stuff like that with that. But anyways, organic farming real quick. Basically, normal farming, as an example, you would normally use chemicals as, for example, a bug repellent and other chemicals for other things. They are, in fact, toxic for the body. The earth, the environment, the animals, they're bad. <laughs> So in this series, I will be doing organic farming, where we will look at how you can farm organically and the alternatives you can use instead of using the ke the, blah, 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 the chemicals on your crop. So that is another thing, unique thing about the series. We're going organic. So here we are in the game, and right over here is in fact our farmhouse, which let's take a look at it real quick. Uh, we can actually go inside of this one. So here we have our home. Uh, is that German? I feel like that might be German. Uh, can we open this? No, we cannot open that door. That door is locked. Uh, here we have a kitchen. We have an interesting looking stove. And an eating area. And also a laptop. <laughs> that's cool. That's w apparently where I'm going to be doing all that thing. Alright, that's cool. But yeah, let's not spend too much time in the house. Because the interesting stuff is out here, of course. We have, I believe... Yes, we have a little storage area over here. Can this still be opened? Nope, we cannot open that one. All right, but we have a little storage area. We have a, another storage place here. And we have a silo here to store things. And another storage thing over there. In fact, if we go into escape and I press X, you can actually see the green is the land that we own. So we own the field that is right over here. Uh, the fruit type, the current stuff that's in the ground is wheat and the growth has been harvested. Um, also, if we go into here, we can see a bunch of filters. We can see the type of fruit that is in the uh, in the ground. We could also see the level of growth, and we could also see the soil composition. And we can see that this field needs lime. Lime is actually just, from my research anyway, crushed limestone. I believe sometimes or all the time, I'm not 100% sure, um, also with chalk at it. That uh, does some good for the earth. Now you're not supposed to add too much of this because that's bad. <laughs> but this soil does need some lime. I believe it's like every two years or something you add it. Um, in game, there is also a very useful help over here that uh, shows a bunch of helpful information. As we can see right here, spread lime every three hours so that will probably be around to like three years. I think what I read was four years, something like that. But that is something this field 
requires and that will basically boost the yield by 15%. So that is really cool. That is something we will have to do down the road. Um, but anyways, let's get started. Um, let's get over here. So obviously we own field 11. What we can do real quick, if I can find it, that is, we have, this is the season's calendar. And as you can see over here, we have a list of all the fruit types. The green is basically the planting season and the yellow is the harvest season. So here, for example, wheat, we plant it in the spring and then we can harvest it throughout late summer and very, very early winter. Um, now I have this days, the season set so that we have one day sorry three days per season that should be enough to start with once the farm grows bigger and we have more work to do that will obviously have to be increased we have a weather forecast here because believe it or not there are some things that we can simply cannot do if the weather isn't right and the temperature of the ground isn't right so that is something there and here we have some uh, crop info um, frost resistance drought resistance etc we also have animals farm animals we can have but that's not something we will be looking into right now. We don't have the money for that. And here we can also see um, at what point wheat sells the highest. So here we can see um, early winter is where we can get the highest price for wheat and barley and oat. But the sunflowers, for example, that seems to be late winter and the peak seems to be right here at the start of spring. But anyways, before we can actually start this, as you can see, we have uh, very little money, but as you can also see, we have like zero equipment. So we need to go to the shop and buy some things. And I over here have a list, where did I put it? Over here. Um, so we need a bunch of stuff. Now, because we're in a tight situation with regarding to economy, we're not gonna buy everything that we will be needing. We will be buying what we need at this current time and maybe with some things we might even lease. Um, we only have 380,000 euros to go with, so we gotta spend it carefully. We need a tractor, small tractor. Um, and here we need to look at the horsepower as well. I want something that is powerful, but also not too expensive. Obviously also something that can drive a little bit faster. Um, but before we actually buy that one, let's, uh, let's take a look. We need, uh, it says, it says here it needs lime, right? Uh, it does, I don't think it needs plowing. Basically, a plow is only needed periodically and the map will say when. If we just hide this, as you can see, ours does not need plowing, so that is good. We only need to cultivate it and then uh, seed it, so that's good. We just need lime. I believe we can do that at a later date. So that is something, we need a seeder, we need a cultivator. So that is something we can look at right now. Uh, if we go into, ah, up here, into tools, and then we need to go into cultivators right here. And then we can see the required horsepower right here. 100, 120. This has a worth, worth, work width of six meters. This one, these have a work width of uh, three meters, both of them. That might do for us. This one is very cheap. Um. Obviously, this is way too expensive. We could go with this one, but again, we also need a tractor and other things. We need to save on the money. Our farm is not that big, so I think we will go with this one. I don't really see a difference other than the requirements being lower. So I think we're gonna buy this one. We can take a look at it in here before we buy it. There's no customization here. Um, we could, again, also lease things to begin with, but I think we're gonna buy it. All right. So that is that. We also need a cedar. So we go into cedars here. Now these are expensive. So I think we will have to go with something like, well, one of these. Now we need to take note that some of these, I don't know if it's in this category, but I think some of these only has some type of crop. No, they seem to support all of these, all of them. Um, some things like potatoes need their own separate equipment. In fact, um, speaking of which, what things do we want to get first? Like what things do we want to actually sow? We could get something that we could do all year round, but I think I want something that has, of course, a high value. So if we go here and just go through here and see what this number says at the top, 
canola. Sunflowers seem good. Soybeans look really high as well. Soybeans. Hmm. Soybeans. We can't even put these in the ground as of right now. I would like to get something canola then, maybe. Canola, huh? So canola, that is that weird little thing. <laughs> can this... Yes, this can actually see canola. So I think we will actually get this one to start with. Again, not much uh, to customize right here. So we're going to buy it. And that sets us down to 360... Uh, thousand euros not too bad what else do we need let me look at my list uh we don't need anything else right now but i need a tractor obviously now this is going to be one of those things that are going to be more expensive now we don't have anything that requires too much horsepower um this is the most expensive small tractor there is and we can actually afford it it has a high horsepower so that's good it, can, it is also fast i think we're gonna get this one to be completely honest with you it has the highest horsepower of these small ones. We can also get a medium tractor that obviously has more horsepower, but also is more expensive. Okay, so the thing we have that requires the most horsepower is 100. I think we will just be getting a medium tractor that has something around 100. I think I like this Fendt. It has 115 horsepower. It's okay fast, I think. I think we'll get this one. Seems to be able to handle everything. So again, I think we're going to get this vent. Let's see what we can uh, customize about it. So we have the wheel brand. I think we'll just leave that to default. Engine setup. We can increase the horsepower, but that adds a bunch more to the to the price. So we don't really want that. We can also get a front loader attachment, which we don't need right now. We can also customize these vehicles later on. Uh, but I think front loader. Yeah, we gotta go with off for now. We'll set up wide tires. And not really sure twin tires. Oh dear. I think we're just gonna keep it to standard. Uh, we can't uh, change the color of this, so we're just gonna buy it. And we could also get a car for ourselves, but again, we need to hold off on the money for a bit. Now. The dealership is over here. We have a town over here. So I'm thinking this episode we're going to get this equipment back home. And, um... Uh, I'm going the wrong way here. Um, but anyways, in this episode, I think we will be getting the equipment back to home. And then we will cultivate the ground, ready for seeding. Uh, oh, here. Oh, here. Right. There's our tractor. We actually have a lot more money than I realized, but we still need it. Keep in mind, we're not going to get any income for a while. Um, until we actually sell things or do contracted work, which we will also have to be doing some of. We also, for example, need harvesters, and those are also expensive. So, and we'll also need other equipment down the road as well. But I think this fent is going to be really nice. We could actually also... Oh, saving content. We could actually also get this field over here. It is 67,000. I think we might get that. Yeah, we have the money for it. I was thinking if we should get one or two fields. I think we're going to get this other field as well. Feel free to leave suggestions and your thoughts down below in the comments as well, of course. That sounds like a fire jet. All right, let's get in the tractor. Here we are inside. Now I should actually already say right now that I am using a steering wheel for this. Uh, Logitech G27 steering wheel with the Satec control panel as well. Um, and pedals. So that is something that makes this even more realistic as well. Alright, so the equipment is over there. Another mod that I have on as well is manual attach. So that means that I need to manually get out and attach the equipment so let's back it up beep 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 i think right there should be good and we attach that sweet and i believe we need to raise it i can press f1 to get the help here v we need to now get back home so look both ways, of course. 
All right. Eh. Stop blinking. All right. Back to the farm we go. So right now we need to get all of the equipment over. Open the gate. And of course the cedar. We're not gonna need right now. So we're gonna place that probably in the shed right here. for me there we go cool alrighty get back to the farm now since we did buy I feel I think it was the other field field 10 I think it's called um, I think that field actually needs plowing so we'll need to get a plow as well Let's just have a look in a second here. Annoying the blinkers don't turn off automatically. Maybe there's a mod for it. Don't know. Just let this equipment get in the shed here. So let's see. It does not need lime, but it does need plowing. So yeah, we need to buy a plow as well. Let's go here, equipment. Now these, I really don't like plowing because the work width is so terrible <laughs> now money is getting dangerously low again because we need a we need a harvester which is not cheap that is at least a hundred euros off and we also need of course to get the header for the harvester which is over here header we need to get that and then we also need to get a trailer right here trailer so we also need to get that for when we have stuff and that of course needs to have an okay big capacity so we need to be a little bit careful with the money now but uh, I'm not gonna buy this because that would basically be uh, too expensive but I think I'm gonna get this because it just has half a meter extra wide work width uh, it does require a tractor with 150 horsepower our tractor does not have that we have this right yeah so it basically cannot run this. It's only half a meter. Guess we'll have to get this one then. We just simply don't have the horsepower to run it. But we will now be going back to the dealership to pick up the plow. Um, good thing is we won't need to cultivate it as well after plowing it. We also need to do some get some lime on the other field, so that we'll need to lease a lime spreader. Um, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be something. All right, here's this the plow. Equip, raise it. Yeah, the plow can also be used to um, to make basically make new fields. gate now this is like driving a trailer so this will be interesting to back in not impossible there we go boom actually need to lower it first there we go Perfect. Nice. We will be needing that soon. Let's just take a quick look at lime spreaders. All right, so here they are. They're expensive, but of course we can lease these. Uh, this one has lime right here, this rock down here. I assume that is lime. So we'll need to lease that at some point.
Let's equip the plow. Let's plow the field. Let's close the gate behind us. I just want to get some crop work done, other than just having this episode being a total uh, talk video. That would be kind of boring. I could also do the plowing, but I think we will be doing the cultivating first. I think this is... yep, close enough. <laughs> I think this is close enough. Hits it. There we go. Let's get over here. Now I do have a GPS mod that basically makes it so that you actually get these things straight. Let me see here. All right, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use that for this job. Um, we will just be doing it manually. That is also, I believe, it's gonna be a little bit more fun. All right, all right. Let's do this. We are cultivating. Good. Well, I'm gonna start the time lapse, and you can sit back and enjoy. I'll see you when the job is done. I'll start by doing a header out here. So we're not right just up to the grass. So I'm gonna do like the a border of this. So like here. And I'm gonna raise it. Then I'm going to bag it up. Lower it. And then go around that way. Like so. But yes. I'm gonna do this and we're gonna stop the time lapse. I'll see you when it's done. Alright, that is that job pretty much completed and it is now 10 minutes past 6 p.m. I did miss a few spots here and there, but you know what? Those small spots aren't going to do a huge difference, so it's alright. I think one more pass and we should be there. Yep, this path right here. And then the rest, just leave it. It's alright. That gate's open. It should not be open. Close that. Alright. Lower it. And unequip it. And I'm just gonna pack the tractor here, I think. Take the lights off. Boom. And I am going to call it an episode right here. Let's take a quick look at our field here. It's alright. So, of course, it still needs lime. But it has been cultivated, so now we can actually sow it. I think we will sow it and then we'll put lime on. Um, but the next episode, we need to plow this field over here so it's ready as well. And then maybe spread lime on this and then put seeds down. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. Uh, but I, I would say this is a pretty good start. Where's my flashlight button? There we go. <laughs> I'm going to head into this house and I'm gonna, well, edit this video. And I really, really hope you enjoy it because I think this it's a load of fun and i hope 
you think so too. But anyways, I'm gonna go in, edit this video, and talk into bed, and we'll see you in the morning. Hopefully you enjoyed, and hopefully I'll see you next time as well. Have a wonderful day, and good night. Alright. Too, too bad I can't close this door. Anyone can just walk in here. That's not so good. Alright. Eh, there we go. I need a Lambo here. Hmm, maybe a cup of tea first.